Hi there, Andreas here with Express Pets Finger Drumming. Today I was asked how the MPD2 editor works and I can show you here on the MPD2 18 editor, but I think it works similarly on the MPD2 26 and 232. So first of all, you have two main sections. One is the section for the knobs and one is the section for the pads. And for each of these sections, you have three banks. For the knobs, the three banks are really put on the device, on the um, surface. And for the pads, you need to switch through by these letter buttons here. And on the device, you do it via these two knobs, one for the pads and one for the knobs. Now, when you click on any control here, be it a knob or a pad, you see that the blue area on the top changes and reveals the parameters that you can change for that particular control. And there you can change whether it should be a note or program change or a, a program bank change uh, should be triggered. You can change the MIDI channel, you can change the MIDI note, and you can change uh, the uh, aftertouch uh, behavior. So you can say it should be off only for the channel or poly. Over here you have the trigger mode that can either be toggle or momentary. For finger drumming you would use momentary which means that it's a one-shot sample that you fire off with a pad or uh, if you use pads for example uh, that you want to sustain then just use the toggle mode then you hit the pad once the sound starts playing and you hit it twice uh, and it stops. Over here you can change the preset name and one of the best features of that editor is the auto populate tool. And this one uh, is kind of a mass change tool that you can apply on the pads and on the knobs. And you can um, yeah, specifically change only certain values or parameters. For example, if you don't want aftertouch on any of your pads, you just check that box, put that to off, um, then you could define the media channel as well and the banks. So you can select A, B, C or any of those and then you hit apply and all your pads will lose their aftertouch and uh, of course that also goes with these other elements here um, and that's really helpful and a big time saver. Same for the knobs um, and finally you need to send that to your hardware so uh, you just do so via the menu and then you choose a preset number and send it. Uh, lastly, I'd like to mention that I've prepared all the ExpressPads finger drumming presets um, for the Archive MPD-218. You can download them from the website for free. And um, yeah, if you liked that video, you'd make me happy. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, you will stay informed and we will see you again. Cheers. Bye.